Has this ever happened to you? Your favorite game just finished downloading and you connect your controller to start playing. You press every single button on the controller and you find out the game has no controller support. Today, I am going to show you how you add controller support to any game or play any game with the help of a controller. There is no way to add controller support to your game unless the developer adds it. But there is a workaround. You can map the keyboard and mouse controls to your controller. There are few programs to do this. I used to use Huge iPad, but while searching for an app that works both on Linux and Windows, I found a similar tool called Antimicro X. It can do everything Huge iPad used to do and much more. I am going to be using Arch Linux for this tutorial. You can find the installation instructions from the GitHub repo. I will leave a link for the Windows installer and the repo in the description below. They have a package in the AUR, so I am just going to install that. So I can just use my AUR helper paru uh, hyphen i anti micro x and click enter. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to install it again. They will have a app image if you're interested in that. As soon as I launch it, you can say it doesn't detect any because it doesn't detect any controllers. So I can just connect my controller now. And you can see the UI changes and it detects it at the Xbox 360 controller. So UI is pretty straightforward. You have the L stick here, the right stick, the D-pad and all the other keys. So how this basically works is you choose whichever control you want and then you can map it to a specific keyboard key or mouse action. So for example, usually in games, you use the WASD keys to move around and with games which have controller support, you use the uh, left, con left stick to move around. So probably you want to map the left stick to WASD. So W is to move forward and the right left stick top should go forward too. So if I want to map the left stick top button, I can just do that action with controller and it'll highlight which button to map. So this is the button to map here. So I can just click on that. And it will give me like a virtual keyboard. And I can just use W key here and click on close. So I can just map the other keys like that. So left side should be A, A is used for moving to the left side. So I can just click on this one, which highlight it. And A, moving back or down is uh, S, so I can just do that and moving right is D so now I have mapped the left stick to WASD so if I just like open terminal and just move around the left stick you can see it types WASD continuously so that's basically mapping the controller to specific keyboard keys and then the right stick is usually used for uh, looking around in the game and you use your mouse to look around in the game. So you probably want to map the right stick to the mouse moving around. So how can you do that? So just do the right stick top and you can see this, uh, this button highlights. So we can just click on that and then click on mouse on the bottom here and then just choose up here. Click on close. So that will do the up mouse action. So similarly, just do the others like that. This would be the right stick left side. So I can just click on that. Click on mouse. Click on left. Then this one would be the right stick right side. So just click on that. Click on mouse and click on right. Click on close. And this would be the right stick bottom so down and click close so now i can control the mouse using my right stick so if i were to move the right stick left you can see the cursor also moves left here if i were to move the mouse right stick up you can see the mouse moves up and if i were to move it right you can see it moves right and similar if i move the right stick down you can see the cursor moves down now moving around and looking and all the only two controls in the game you will have more controls, for example, E for opening the craft, crafting menu or something like that. 
So you probably want to map the A key to open the crafting menu when you're playing Minecraft. So you can do that by pressing the A key on your controller. You can see this button highlights here. Click on it. And then just choose the E key. And then just click on close. And then if I open the terminal again and just keep clicking the E key, you can see E, e, e comes in the it's basically typing E. And then you probably want to use the left click and right click of the mouse to break and place blocks. So you can do that using the left trigger and right trigger. So if I just click on the left trigger, you can see the left trigger highlights here. So you can just click on the left trigger and you can see it, you can see how much you're pressing it. So I just press a little, you can see it doesn't show the full badge, just shows how much I press it. So you can configure how much you need to press it for it to trigger. So I could just make it a little bit less. So it'll trigger when I press the button half or I could make it full. So it'll trigger when I press the button completely. You can do it how I want and leave it at normal. I'll just keep it keep it here yeah so then you can choose that how much it has to be so just keep it whatever you want and then click on no key here so what no key is there meaning what will get triggered when you when you press the left trigger so i want the mouse left click so i can just click on mouse click on left button and click on close and click on close again and the right trigger is this button i can just click on that and similarly i can change the value of this again and just click on no key and then click on mouse and this would be right button and close and close again so yeah that's basically it you can map the other key similarly you can so if i click the x y B keys you can map them however you want. You can even map the start key. The start key can just be escape if you want. So mouse uh, the escape key and click on close. So yeah, you can map the other keys similarly. You can just see the keyboard controls in your game and map them according to that. Uh, one more thing to remember is to save your configuration. So once you finish configuring all the buttons, click on save here and click on just name it minecraft or whatever game you're using it for and click on save and every time you open the app just click on load and you can load the configuration uh, one more quick thing uh, make sure to configure the app to exit the system trace that will be running in the background so you can do that by clicking on uh, options and settings and make sure to click close to tray here and then if you want to add the key, the app to be running in the background, just click on app and click on hide. So it will keep running the system tree and you can still use the key maps. Now that you know everything to map your controller keys to the keyboard and mouse controls, let's take a look at some Minecraft gameplay. So right now I'm using the right stick to move the mouse to click on back to game. You can see the Controls which I'm using the Q joypad window here. So I can just click back to game using the left trigger. So I can just move around like this. And then if I want to break this grass block, I can just use the left trigger. And you can see I can pick it up. And then I can just place it using the right trigger. And then I can just break another one. And then I can just Place it on top of this. Now you can just take a look at all the controls and start mapping them one by one. If you want, you can even map the B key to jump or something like that. So I can just click on B and space, close, and click on back to game. And then now when I click the B key, you can see I'm able to jump. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Just map all the keys one by one and have fun playing the game. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos.